So I recorded this this last Sunday before I went to church. <clears throat> and you can tell I've got I'm stopped up because I've been working at our place and we have a lot of dust. Well, we have all dust right now. I'm in West Texas and there's no water. So I really got kind of stopped up and man, I'm tired. And, and you know, I, I, I did a funeral yesterday, Saturday morning, and that ought to count for some church stuff. And I've got lots more stuff I could do out at our place, or I could rest some today. But instead, I, I'm getting up, and I've got dressed, and I'm going to go to church. And I thought a little bit about, well, why do I go to church? I mean, it's not like you have to. I mean, you can worship God anywhere, right? And you, let me tell you a few reasons I thought about why I got up, and I'm going to church this morning. One is, I need to see other people who live the way I do. I, I, I need to be around people to worship God together. I need to be with people that make a statement together that we believe that Jesus came and he died for our sins and he was raised from the dead and he's gonna come back to take us home. I need that encouragement. I need to be inspired to do better. Man, I, I when I go to church and we sing and I listen to some of God's word and I, I feel better about trying to get out on Monday through Saturday and, and live for Jesus. It inspires me and encourages me, and I need inspiration of just seeing people. Now, I, it's my mom, but she's 91, and I bet she hadn't missed three Sundays in her life going to church. And she'll be there worshiping 91 years. I need to see that. I need to see the mom holding a little baby in church for the first time. I, I need to see the guy that was away from the Lord 40 years and came back, and there he is in church cheering up because of the time he's missed, but knowing that God's forgiven him and it's okay. I need to be there and watch the young families worshiping together. I need to see the marriages that are trying to be healed and repaired, and they're doing that through worship. I need to see those things, experience those things, and there are people there that need my smile today. There are people that are going to be at church that I need to encourage. There are people that I need to pat on the back. There'll be people I pray with. Uh, we've got a really good friend who's coming to church today. She kind of quit coming when COVID hit and she hadn't been going to church and she's coming because she's got a son who's got a really serious illness and she feels the need to come back to church and I need to be there for her. And sometimes I need to be there because there are people there who will pat me on the back and pray for me and love me. We all need that community. It's hard to live for Jesus by yourself. Now, some of you that know me may be thinking, now, wait a minute, don't you kind of have to go because uh, aren't you on staff at Hillcrest? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm the part-time local evangelist. But I don't go because of the paycheck. I, I go because I need to. I need people and people need me in the community of faith. And yes, I'm going to teach a Bible class right after church this morning. And you know what? We'll be talking about being in the word, and we're going to talk about what non-believers think when they see a world that's such a mess. Where's our God? We're going to talk about how to answer those kind of things. So you learn a little bit at church. You get inspired a little bit at church. But mostly you will realize if you really want to follow Jesus, go to church because you'll figure out you don't have to do it by yourself. And there is somebody there that needs your encouragement. And sometimes You'll need their encouragement. So this is Steve Ridgell. When you're looking at this, I'm telling you, I was at church last Sunday, unless I have a car wreck in the next 20 minutes on the way up there. So I hope you'll be in church next Sunday and the rest of your life. Because after all, that's a little glimpse of heaven.